everyone, my name is the Josh Ritchie, and this guy's surprised about me in the last minute, so deal with what you got. My name is the Josh Ritchie, and today we are going to look at all the WTF moments for UCW Wednesday Night Rampage. This is the first one, so there might be some growing pain, so work with me. Let's get cracking on the napkin. <laughs> Let's start off this episode with something from the commentary team. <laughs> First, we got Leto saying that the six-man battle royal was a six-man tag. Leto, 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 we're not even two minutes, you're not even two minutes into this and you're already messing up. What's, in the words of former WWE Superstar Hurricane Helms, what's up with that? Next up, we got Cassidy Blank calling herself the ultimate opportunist. Now, Cassidy Blank, I'm going to call you out on this because you blatantly stole that from a certain WWE Superstar who had a certain edge with his promos and his personality. I think you want me to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Shake your heads, yes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my god, he's doing a springboard move. Oh my god, what a cutter. That was an amazing move. Why the hell was the commentary so dead? And they were just blech for like the entire show. That was the entire show right there. It was just robotic and nothing. Make the audience invested into it, get more excited, get thrilled about moves, and it gets really bad towards the end, and that will come at a later time in this episode. <laughs> that poor bastard's head got squashed like a great baby did Sue. Leto, I presume, say to Chandler, I presume, stop thinking with your dick. WTF. Humans had to paid. Everyone in that six man battle world gets a job or entrance. That's a good way to get us invested and get us to care about everyone in that match. <laughs> Humans had to paid. When I first heard Matthew Storm's promo, I swore I heard him call Kid Punk his butt buddy. To be sure, I rerounded a few seconds and I heard it again. It turns out he said bust buddy. I guess he was trying to say best buddy and said it sounded a lot like butt buddy. Is there something you're not telling us, Matthew? <laughs> Matthew Storm saying about bones, he has a boner for attacking me. Ha 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 ha. Next up, turns out Elizabeth doesn't know how to speak air properly, or maybe the drug she's taking doesn't allow her to spell in her properly, because look at this. Y O U apostrophe R E, that's not how you do it, it's Y O U R. Why are you possibly are is you are your as in your uh, uh, okay, and it's not just that it's all of these two look at this look at this Elizabeth you need to work on your grammar instead of trying to focus on Matthew Storm work on your grammar some more too WTF next up we got a debuting star debuting in a main event match. Not even Shinsuke Nakamura got that treatment, so it better it better be worth my time. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot believe they did this. I don't know who, but one of the commentators yawned during a main event. No, that is the cardinal sin of commentators: never ever yawn in the middle of a match or middle of an entrance, in the middle of just of a debut star, for the matter of fact. I guess the audience think if they're not interested in it, then why should I be interested in it? When your college just ruined it, you just don't do it again. Oh, he lost? So I guess it wasn't worth my time. <laughs> That'll be it for all of your WTF moments for UCW Wednesday Night Rampage. This was asked for me on the fly. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Make sure you come back for Insanity this weekend. And I'll see you all another time.